Budget doesn't have to mean bad. As long as you're mindful of what you're buying, budget travel accessories can still be versatile, functional, and durable, all while saving you a ton of money in the process. Hey, I'm Nathan from Pack Hacker, where we use our expertise and real world experience to provide practical resources and honest opinions, guiding you towards smarter travel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Here at Pack Hacker, we tend to focus on high quality gear, but there are a few instances where buying budget just makes sense. And if you can afford it, however, we'd still suggest mix and matching some budget travel gear with a few investment pieces. We've tried and tested every one of these budget travel accessories across different countries and continents, some for even a few years now. And all of these items are featured on our budget packing list over on packhacker.com too. There you'll find all of the best budget travel gear you need for your next trip. Click the card up here or follow the link in the description below to open up the packing list in another tab or bookmark it for later on. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up, we have these packable bags from Quechua. This 10 liter backpack and this sling slash waist pack. As you can see, they are incredibly small. So let's open up and see what's going on inside. Now, as we start off with the backpack, Rebecca here on the team has actually used this backpack, not this same one, it was in a different colorway, um, for over a year of travel around Asia. And even though there's a few loose threads in hers now, it's actually still holding up. Now, it's a simple no thrills bag that's just handy for when you need to take out and about. If you wanna take a jacket out, you can throw it in this bag. And as you saw, it's so incredibly small that if you pack this within your larger main bag, it really doesn't take up any room at all. Now, moving on to this thing here, we are really digging it. Now, this is a waist pack that can also be worn as a sling. And we really appreciate that versatility for such a budget item. We found the organization inside to be really useful. As you can see, there's even a little zippered compartment at the back here. There's, you know, just a lot of room in the middle and also the bag that it packs up into can be used as a little place. We put coins in there before, which has been really handy. And believe it or not, both of these bags are available for under $10. Now, we can't guarantee that they're gonna last as long as the one that Rebecca had traveling Asia for over a year, visiting all these different countries and just showing you know a few loose threads after that time, but they're definitely incredible bang for your buck. Now, they're available in a few different colorways and we'd recommend just picking up whatever one suits your style the most. Moving on, we think there's a very good chance that you know someone or at least have seen someone that has this Casio F91W digital watch. It's so incredibly popular that they started manufacturing it in 1989 and believe it or not, it's still in production today with the exact same design. When you're on the road, knowing the time is always so important, whether you've got to catch a flight, knowing what time your bus leaves, or what time you can check in or check out of your Airbnb. Now, you can always use the phone that's in your pocket to check the time, but there's just something we love about having a specific watch on your wrist. And this Casio watch really is a timeless classic. It's lightweight, water resistant, and available for a surprisingly low cost, around $10. Unless you enjoy sitting on an airplane ride, listening to crying babies, you're gonna want some headphones. Now there really are some amazing headphones and wireless earbuds out there in the world today, but if you're on a budget, it's gonna be tough to beat these Panasonic ErgoFit earbuds which can be picked up for under $10. Now, these things aren't gonna satisfy any of you audiophiles out there, but they're easy to use and you can listen to music with them, which for this price is really all you can ask for. Now, if you're on a real tight budget, you can probably forego a tablet and just use your phone, 
but being able to lose yourself in a good film or book on a seven inch screen, especially when you're on an eight hour bus ride, is probably priceless. And for its price, the Amazon Fire 7 tablet is by far one of the most versatile and reliable tablets available on the market. We've put ours to the test over three years across 20 plus countries, and it's still holding up remarkably. We'd highly recommend getting something like Netflix and downloading a few movies and TV shows so you can watch them offline on this tablet. I've personally been on an eight hour plane ride where my entertainment system didn't work. And because I had some TV shows saved on this thing, it was a real lifesaver. Now, at the time of this video, it's 50 bucks, but Amazon frequently holds sales where you can nab it for less. If you've ever tried to hold your phone or your tablet on a plane or train ride while watching a film, you know it's not very fun. The Night Eyes Quick Stand is the size of a credit card, meaning you can keep it in your wallet like any other card that you travel with. And it allows you to stand up your device just about anywhere in the world. So you just poke that thing up and you've got this little thing so you can rest it on the back and lock it in. And there we go. And I'll show you with the Amazon Fire 7 tablet. You just lift that up and it slots in like that. And there we go. This will work with any phone and it works really well with this tablet as well. Seriously, this thing is so small, but the benefits are so big. So much so in fact that I've personally traveled with it for over three years now. And it's available for around $10. Next up, a super budget buy from Amazon Basics, a brand that we've had surprisingly good experiences with. In fact, their slim carry-on travel backpack weekender made our pick as the main bag for our budget packing list. Link in the description below. This RFID travel passport wallet organizer is large enough to hold multiple cards, some spare coins, which is what we found this little mesh zippered pocket useful for, a pen in the middle here, your boarding pass either at the back or there's a little sleeve here as well, some extra cash, which is what we found this little zippered compartment good for because we just put some emergency cash in there. Hopefully you won't need it, but it's good to have just in case. And finally, of course, your passport as well, which we found can fit in here and we've put it in this one as well. Now, it's not the most beautiful looking wallet, but it does the job. And picking this thing up for around 10 bucks is worth a good look. It's always a good idea to have a few pouches on hand to organize gear inside your bag. And you're likely not gonna be able to find a better deal than these Nalbag accessory bags from Ikea. Unbelievably, they come as a set of three and they're available for $3.99. That's for all three of them. Ikea will sometimes change up their products, but they'll likely always do something similar to these. So if you're in need for some accessory bags while you're on the road, definitely check them out. We must, however, give an honorary mention to Ziploc bags here. They're a fantastic budget hack, and because they're available in a wide range of sizes, you can use them for your toiletries, even as packing cubes and pretty much anything else. Finally, we've got a few travel accessories from Muji, a budget Japanese brand that has always impressed whenever we've tested any of their gear. First up, we have this hairbrush, as you can see here, folds in half, and also this folding travel comb, as you can see here. Now these are great space savers, and considering their build, they're surprisingly sturdy. Next, we have these earplugs, which come in a very handy case that will save them from getting damaged or just dirty in general. Some people will struggle to get earplugs to stay in. Other people can't sleep on a plane without them. And one thing we're all agreed on is that for the price, you can't go wrong with these things. Now we have the portable sewing set, which is incredibly small and compact. A sewing set can save you some cold, hard cash. Seriously, if you rip a piece of clothing or the stitching starts to come away, some quick sewing can save you from having to replace that last item. 
Lastly, we have this S shape travel hook, which kind of reminds us a little bit of a hero clip, which if you haven't already, make sure to check out our full review of. Now, you don't need one of these things, but they can come in pretty useful for the price. You can use this S shape hook to attach items to the outside of your bag, like a water bottle or a wet towel, or to hang up the bag instead of resting it on the floor. So there you have it, some awesome budget travel accessories. As ever, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below, as well as any of your own suggestions. If you enjoyed this video, then we're pretty confident that you're gonna dig our full budget packing list over on packhacker.com too. So make sure to check that out. Link in the description below. And don't forget, the cheapest budget travel accessories are possibly the ones you already own. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.